Hi everybody, this is Bonnie with Bonnie's Art and today we're bringing you another face painting. This is my daughter and today she is wanting a hummingbird. So we start with putting down a main color and then I switch to the black and I start drawing basic lines. A hummingbird is very simple starting with the circle making the back of the the bird down to the tail doing the wings and then the stomach from there we can put in a few more of the specifics of the different parts of the bird so like actually filling in the tail filling in the wings and putting in the lines that so you so the bird actually looks like a bird We have to remember to put the beak on. Here I'm putting in a few more action lines. These will make, because hummingbirds are always flying and it needs the action wings to the action lines to have it look like, it, like it's moving. Then we go, then we switch to color. I put green in the tail. It, we're doing a mixture of dark green, light green, and a pretty blue color, as well as some white. And this will put together most of the hummingbird. Here we're putting the green on the backside of the, the chest and then on the tips of the wings. Here we have the blue and this will put on the face and on the upper part of the wings. Hummingbirds have two wings so make sure you give a front wing and a back wing. Now white on the stomach. I always use Snazaru paints when I'm using doing the paints themselves. Snazaru paints, as well as being hypoallergenic and safe for children, uh, they they blend really really easily. They're like using a gouache paint that makes it easy for them to to blend well and to put other colors in and on top of the colors that are being used. Yellow for the beak. And because sometimes it's easy to go out of the lines, it never hurts to go back and put another line in. And there we go. Now the bird looks like a bird. Now you can't have a hummingbird usually without a flower. Hummingbirds like flowers, like trumpet vines. And since I have a trumpet vine or have had a trumpet vine in my backyard for many years, that is what I'm putting for this hummingbird. My daughter laughs because it makes it, it tickle. She thinks it's cold when I get down on her neck. I would normally put a vine to go with the, the trumpet because it is a trumpet vine and some swirls because I think that puts makes it really pretty, but my daughter said no. So here we're just putting in the leaves of the trumpet vine and making them a pretty yellow. Right here it's orange. And then I will be putting yellow on the tips of the flower. Now 
So there's the trumpet vine looking like a trumpet vine. Here's some yellow to go to make it look a little bit more flowery and more like a trumpet vine. And to give it some contrast against that blue that's right there. Right now I would normally put some a little bit of fairy dust on but my, like I said my daughter was being picky today so we're gonna stick with it here and this is it and I hope you enjoyed the hummingbird.